Hey, hello. So, welcome back. So, from now on, we'll be tackling more advanced uh, stuff with, with Olive. Uh, the most important thing, I think, are keyframes. What are keyframes? How do they work? How can you take advantage of them? So, keyframes are a really cool way to apply some very basic but effective animations to your video. You can make things move from side to side, zoom in and out, a bounce back and forth, and so on. So let's say that I wanna make my video just start right here, slowly go like this, and then just get out of the screen. Let's say I wanna animate some, something like that. So as you can see, each clip by default comes with a transform effect. And remember that the transform effect allows us to choose a position. And we can actually uh, exploit that fact. We can actually use that uh, to move stuff uh, in and out. So first, let me create a solid color just as an example. Click on it and let's edit the color like so. Let me choose just like a blue color. Let me just transform it. Scale refers to how zoom in or zoom out it is. So let me just make it so. And right now it'll just pop in, stay, Until this part ends. So let's say that I want it to come from one part, start in one place and end in another. So let's go ahead and click on select. Let's select the actual clip. And let's say that we want to have the thing start from up here. But we want to start up here, but we want to make it end up down here. So this is where the like kind of stop watch or clock button comes in. We can enable keyframes. A keyframe means that we're going to tell it here is your first position. Here's where your first position should be. And here is where your last position should be. So let's enable those. And you can see that that created a point. So at this point, I want you to be up here. And let's scroll. We have like a little timeline. And this timeline up here represents the beginning and end of our clip. So if we go to the end right here, where it's black, that's the end of our clip. And if we go to the beginning, that's the beginning of our clip. So at the first point, at this little diamond right here, it will be up here, but I want it to be down here at the end, near the end. And how can we create a new instruction point or keyframe? By pressing this button right here. And now we're going to tell it at this point, at this point number two, you're not going to be up here. You're going to be down here. And if we play that, if we play that, we see the thing going from the top to the bottom. And we can add a, as much in and out points as we like. We can make it start here, then go here. And then we can add another point. Let's say that we make, wanna make it go here. Some other point, make it, I don't know, go here. And then go to the center. And it will just move around like crazy. <laughs> So 
So this is how we animate stuff. And if you notice, we can animate the position, but we can also animate the scaling. Let's say, let me undo that. Let me say that at the beginning, let's enable keyframes. At the beginning, it should be like real small, super small. And at the end, it should be really big. And so it will do so. It will obey our positioning instructions, first be here, then be here. And at the same time, obey our scale instruction so it will jump around and get bigger and I also want it to be smaller so it will move get big continue to move and get small continue to move and just stay there until the clip completely ends and now let's apply that knowledge uh, to anything we want. We can also <laughs> rotate anything, any setting that has like a, a clock. We can choose an in and out point. We can also take a point and move it somewhere else. Let's say that we want to make any point here, any point there. We make all sorts of complex movement right here. We can also animate the anchor point. We can animate the opacity, the transparency. We can make it be like, like fully transparent at the beginning, but like completely solid at the end by making this 100%. It can get super complex super quick <laughs> but now let's actually apply that knowledge and do what we wanted to do from the beginning let's do just a, an elegant and simple edit make this go from left to right let's select the title let's go ahead and, and uh, move this so it's all the way To the right, to the left. Let's create an animation endpoint. Enable keyframe. Let's go to the endpoint and make it be completely to the left. Let's make it less like so. And now. There it goes. And it just uh, finished uh, scrolling through the screen. We can of course export that video. If we wanted to, we can also make something. Let's disable keyframes. If we disable keyframes, they will get completely lost. Let me reset the in and out point. Oh, not, not like that. There we go. And now let me show you something super cool. Let's say that I don't want only the text to move left to right. Let's say that I want the text and the red background to star at the bottom and come up to the top revealing itself we could select keyframes and animate the text and then make keyframes and animate the <laughs> red background but that would mean animating it twice that would mean double the effort and we want to save uh the most time as possible so we can actually combine both clips into one we can combine as many clips into one and that is called 
nesting. Let's nest them together. It's like a, like a bird's nest. So let's select them. Right click. Uh, previously we linked on linked. Now let's nest. Oh, and you see before there were two clips. Now it's just one clip. So if we delete this, we delete this thing, the whole thing gets deleted. So by default, uh, it transformed both videos into one video called a nested sequence number one. Now you can see it's over here, nested C. If I change thing over here and make it bigger, I can see that it's called nested sequence number one. I can rename it. Let's name it my video title screen. So you can just uh, rename it just by clicking on it. And you'll see that once you rename something, it will not get renamed over here. So let's just delete it and place it in again. And now it actually says my video title screen. And you'll notice that it has like a an audio track because it's a track at the bottom and a video track because it's a track at the top. And you know, this thing actually doesn't have any, uh, any audio. If we recall, we just uh, mixed together like video tracks, so they will have no audio information. So we can select them, unlink them. Let's just get rid of this thing. There we go. So now both tracks belong to one track. If we double click on the nested track, it will open it up and you'll see that it's a, a sequence of its own. It's like a timeline inside of another timeline. If you click on the timeline and you want to go back, just go back to your project panel and let's locate our sequence, which contains everything else. Let's actually uh, rename this. Let's get properties. Let's rename it. Let's call this timeline. So that uh, next time, if we get lost, oh, I want to get back to my timeline. Well, I just named it the timeline. So now, since both clips are mixed in one, I can select it, and they have effects of of their own. They have a transform effect of their own meaning that I can resize them and they'll be resized as one. That means that I can select an endpoint, enable keyframes, create another keyframe right here. So I want, I can choose the next keyframe, I can jump straight to the next keyframe and jump to the last keyframe using those buttons. And once the playhead is placed on one keyframe, if we modify that number, that will actually modify that keyframe. So I wanted the video, the, the my video like banner to start at the bottom and just to the top so let's go to the first keyframe let's make it so it's completely hidden let's go to the next keyframe and I want that to be just as it is not hidden let me make them so they're real close so that way it will start without nothing and then really quickly go to our desired state There we go. And let's say that I want the same thing to happen at the end. 
let me add a keyframe add a keyframe later and on the latest keyframe you can whoop make that disappear the video goes in video goes out and there we go so that was um keyframes uh for you <laughs> and remember that you can basically keyframe anything with this icon including this will really open up tons of uh, possibilities for you including the volume you can see here that you can actually like keyframe the volume you can add a keyframe oh i want it to be really silent at the beginning and really loud at the end you can basically keyframe everything and keyframes will make your video look super polished oh look at that that's just wonderful but yeah thank you very much um, for watching the video happy editing and uh, I'm not completely sure what we'll do next we will most likely do keyboard shortcuts yeah let's do keyboard shortcuts next and yeah uh, there we go so we will be taking a look at more advanced stuff since this video onwards so stick around for cool tips and happy editing.